I can't wait for this build. We're going to turn this Azab recumbent tandem into a boat bike. Isn't it? A great build idea. And it's beauty. actually, despite looking quite complex, it's relatively straightforward. Basically, we've had a couple of these brackets built which we're going to use to attach to sailboards, which, believe it or not, straight up, we got for free because a local board hire shop were chucking them out. We're going to connect them to the bike and then hopefully we'll be water bound. We will. The brackets have been made from tubular steel poles, which have been fabricated and fettled so they can easily attach to the tandem and provide a sturdy and sleek mount for our sailboards. And there's something about bolting poles of steel together that seems to have got Jason all excited. Oh, I love that. OK, my mounts are secure. Good. Let's put the sailboard on. OK, got it. Yes, you in? We're in. Oh! In. Sailboards Isn't stay it? afloat because their density is less than water. Yes. OK, I bet this is a good camera angle. <laughs> so these two boards should prevent us from sinking. Oh, Manliness! Man. Brute force. There you go. Well, the sailboards are nicely in place. Should we show them the, the thing? Oh, so the I want thing. to show you them know, the, the thing. thing. Oh, yeah. Drop oh, yeah. Drop them down, drop them down. Oh, ha, ha. that is transportation mode. This is us in the high street. No one would even know that it was a boat. <laughs> All right, they might guess, but isn't that a brilliant feature? So, with our boat bike, we can ride on the land and we can float in the sea, but we're going to have to propel ourselves some way. And that's why we came up with this propeller shaft. It's absolutely brilliant, this thing. Such a simple concept. That little rubber grommet there sits on the wheel, and as we pedal, the shaft spins and the propeller goes round. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? It's friction powered. Look, I'm not going to pretend that everyone could manufacture something as, as elegant as this. I mean, this is what you get when you've got boffins and the Gadget Show team working for you. But you could make this thing out of some plumber's pipe. It's as simple as that. You must remember to attach that. And we continue with our easy engineering approach. Oh, What's your head? heads. Oh, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm well hard with the design for the rudder to steer our chameleon craft. So this is going to make us a central hub that covers the spokes and means that when we turn the wheel, the wheel will act as a rudder. Isn't that genius? Nice. Excellent. Put a hole in there, pop it on there. That is the perfect rudder. Perfect. Okay, I can see it now, me and my banana hammock, you with your old shoulder boulder holder. All right, Clacton, here we come. Let's go, come on. Clacton on Sea was just too far to cycle to, so instead we headed to Bartley Green Reservoir to put our amphibious bike to the test. On the road with our boards up, our tandem felt a little heavy yet perfectly balanced. But how would it perform on the water? Okay, deploying float! Roger that! The front of our sailboards are slightly curved up, so they should prevent us from ploughing under the water. Time for the moment of truth. OK, here we go. Pedal, pedal, OK. Pedal, 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 pedal. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, we're in. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let me get the propeller down. That is amazing. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting totally splashed. I'm going to go this way. Look, the rudder <laughs> works really brilliantly. It's awesome. We have invented um, something truly Truly useful! Hi, Flav! You worked so well! <laughs> Everything was going swimmingly. In fact, it was going so well, Rachel decided she'd like to have a go at the helm, piloting our wonderful creation. I wonder if we could swap. Let's try and swap. I'll put the brakes on! <laughs> put the brakes on! Absolutely remarkable. Now that I was at the rear and in control of the propeller, a thought crossed my mind. I must remember to attach that. Did I tighten that bolt? And before I knew it... Stop! Houston, we have a problem. What? We've lost our propeller. Oh, dear. Are we up a creek without a paddle? With our propeller gone, our pedalling was producing no propulsion. Can we have that oar? But fortunately, the crew had a spare paddle, so we didn't have to abandon ship. OK! Forward! Oh, this, this isn't what we had in mind. No. Oh, well. 
And once we managed to get close to the reservoir's edge, it was time for one last push to see if we could go from watercraft back to road bike in just the push of a pedal. Full power. Oh, my God. Oh, go for oh, it. Go, 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 go. We got traction. Yes. Oh, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Oh, my God. Oh. It costs a whopping three and a half thousand pounds and it's designed to get the very best graphics and speed from today's This week on The Gadget Show, Jason visits the most technology-obsessed country on Earth, a place where children build robots.